Classic Fairy Tales of the World, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, Part 1. Once upon a time, there was a mischievous child named Aladdin. He and his mother lived together in poverty. One day, Aladdin was playing with his little friend when they met a magician. I've come here from a distant land to pick a local child to help me. I want someone strong and nimble. Aladdin! Come here! Let's have a competition to see who's stronger! Coming! Hey! Relying on his great strength, Aladdin lifted a big rock over his head and nimbly wove in and out of the rock piles. He was like an agile monkey. The magician's eyes lit up. <gasps> That's him! I pick you! <laughs> The magician stepped forward and pulled Aladdin's arm, pretending to be warm. Oh, Aladdin, my dear nephew, I'm your uncle. Let me give you a hug. <coughs> be more gentle. I can't breathe. I, I never knew I had an uncle. Ah, uh, that's because I've been away for a very long time. Come with me. I will teach you to do business, and you'll become a rich businessman like me. Cling clang, the magician took out a bag of gold coins. If you obey me, this money will be yours. Oh, okay then. Aladdin agreed to go with the magician. He wanted to give his mother a better life. So, the magician took Aladdin and they walked far, far away. We're here! <laughs> this is the place. Go find some wood chips and dry branches to build a fire. You will soon witness a miracle! Okay. Aladdin obediently built a fire. Door! Door! Quickly open! The magician circled the fire and started to chant a spell. When he scattered some frankincense into the fire, the ground started shaking. Creak! A crack appeared in the ground, revealing a stone door. Uncle, what's happening? We must run! But the magician caught hold of his arm and refused to let him run. Come back! Listen and remember what I'm about to say. Behind this door, countless treasures are hidden. If you walk to the end of the cave and bring me the oil lamp above your head, you can pick some of the other treasures for yourself. Understand? Uncle, aren't you going to teach me to do business? What are we doing here? I'm afraid. Don't ask so many questions, good child. This is my ring. It will keep you safe if you put it on. You won't have to be afraid of anything then. But... Shut up! Go! Quickly! Aladdin was terrified. He had not seen his uncle act so fierce before. He had no choice but to walk into the underground cave. Wow! There was sparkling gold and silver in the underground cave. Pearls and jewelry were piled up as high as hills. Aladdin didn't take a thing. He followed his uncle's instructions and walked to the end of the cave where he picked up the oil lamp. On his way out, Aladdin saw many big trees covered with gems, but he didn't recognize them and he thought they were just some glass beads. These sparkling fruits are so beautiful. I'll pick some up to play with at home. Aladdin picked up many beautiful fruits and put them in his pockets. Then he climbed back with the oil lamp, but the fruits in his pockets were even heavier than rocks, weighing him down so much he couldn't crawl out. Uncle, please pull me a little so I can get out. Give me the oil lamp. Give it to me. Please pull me up first. Give me. No. The magician was so angry his face turned red. He thought Aladdin was refusing to give him the lamp on purpose. He thought the boy knew it was a magic oil lamp. Since you have refused to give me the lamp, you'll stay in this cave forever. Door, door, quickly, close. 
Oh, no. The evil magician closed the door with a spell, then turned around and left. What should Aladdin do? Uncle! Poor Aladdin was very frightened. He curled up into a ball and hid in a corner. He kept rubbing his hands. By accident, he turned the ring on his finger, the ring given to him by the magician. Presto! A tall genie suddenly appeared. My master, what is your command? I am this ring's servant. I listen to whoever owns this ring. Re- really? Then, then can you take me out of this cave? Of course. Creak. <laughs> the ring giant genie waved gently and the crack in the ground opened up again. Cool. Aladdin was saved. Now both the ring and the oil lamp belong to him. What will happen next? Stay tuned for the next episode.